What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Broad Reams S9W Mini Foldable RC Quadcopter with altitude hold and Wi-Fi FPV. So let's go ahead and open up this box and check this baby out. All right, everything is out of the box and on the table. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this baby looks like. Check this out. It is one tiny looking Yep, foldable RC quadcopter, guys, with a camera this time. Yeah, nice. It is looking fantastic. Foldable arms, as you can see here, very compact and small design. And there is the Wi-Fi FPV camera. It is a 0 0.3 megapixel Wi-Fi FPV camera, but nevertheless, you are able to take photos and videos from this small, tiny phone factor and you need to download the Wi-Fi phone app and it is called the BJ UFO app in the App Store uh, go ahead and download and check it out it is a free app to download so that is really nice looks like there's a couple of LED lights right on the top there looking like kind of like eyes and the camera is looking kind of like a mouth sort of and let's take a look in the back here there is a charge port right in the back and this baby has a built-in 3.7 volt 200 milliamp size battery and the information that I've gotten from the product page says 7 minutes of flight time which it is kind of hard to believe with a 200 milliamp size battery but this is a small form factor so we will check it out and looks like there's a LED light right underneath of that charging port as well right in the back and let's go ahead and fold the arms out very easy to do just give it some pressure folds it right out on the opposite side as well notice that the back arms have to fold in first and then the front arms to fold in otherwise it won't fold in correctly so let's take a look on the bottom there's some ventilation holes on the bottom and on the opposite side we do have a on and off switch so that is just fantastic thank you very much uh, the control distance on this baby here is about 50 meters and the wi-fi fpv distance is around 30 meters so that is pretty decent amount of distance for a small little form factor like this so let's go ahead and put this baby down here for now and let's see what else we get in the box we do get a wi-fi phone clip or yeah phone clip at which you just click onto the transmitter like so and there is a little hole in the back where you can put a screw on there to make it solid but as long as you don't flip it forward easy to come off forward but when you press it down it is on there because of this little clip right here so that is fantastic it's got the hinge screw there you can adjust the angle tilt of your phone as well as the the width and you can tighten it up so it's a pretty nice little phone holder very solid okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the functions of the remote control since we got the remote control out uh, this baby here takes three triple a size batteries and which I already have installed and there's some bumper buttons on the top so this left bumper button is the speed changing button and the right one here is the flips all right so that is a normal speed and flip location thank you very much we got an array of buttons here on the right these are all trim buttons here's the forward backward left and right trim buttons on and off switch led indicator and we got an array of buttons on the left side uh, they do have functions on these the top one is the one key to return the second one is the headless mode button and the third one down the line is the one key to arm and one key to land and the final button on the bottom is an emergency uh, stop button now to calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter um, both sticks to the bottom and left will calibrate the heading of the quadcopter and bolt sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate the gyro of the quadcopter all right so let's put this baby down and see what else we get here we got the usb charge cable and we got a bag of goodies here we got the screwdriver and a screw and that one screw is to hold that uh, wi-fi phone clip 
in place and extra set of props and we do get this user's manual as well so there you go guys let's go for a little demo flight with the broad reams s9w mini foldable rc quadcopter all right we are just about ready to go here so let's go ahead and turn on the quadcopter there's an on and off switch on the side so click that baby on and we got some blue LED lights right up on the eyes and a red LED light in the tail. So that is nice. Place it right there and let me go ahead and turn on the remote and see if the lights stop. No, nope, it's still blinking up and down on the throttle and the lights have stopped and we are bound. So let's go ahead and go into the settings. Go into the Wi-Fi section of your settings and there it is the bj network and let's connect to it and we are connected yeah and let's find that app it should be right here there it is let's click on it there you go it looks like that oh and it changes the front page here and press play and hopefully we get some yeah we got some wi-fi feed right here but looks to me like it is pointing towards the ground yeah look at that it is angled down somewhat so we're not going to get a very good uh horizon i have to lift it up a little bit in order to catch the horizon nevertheless we are able to take photos and videos so let's go ahead and take a photo uh oh i just lost connection let me put it back down Oh no, we are not connected anymore. Okay, let me go ahead and back out and hit that play button one more time. And we are connected again. Yes, we are connected again. Phew. Okay, so it loses connection. So be careful with that. Let me take a photo there. And we'd like to access your photos. Very first time using this phone app. Oh, and the phone just crashed the app just crashed guys so not a very reliable app okay let me take a photo one more time okay this time it did not crash yay photo there photo there photo there and i can see that the sun is interfering with the photo quality there there's a line okay all right i think that's good enough photos let's go ahead and hit that video button and there's an indicator that it is uh, taking a video so let's go for a little demo flight with the s9w full sticks to the bottom and out will arm and the throttle stick all the way to the bottom that does not disarm just both sticks to the bottom and out will disarm and once again both stick to the bottom and in will disarm all right and this button right here let me press that button one key to arm. Oh, one key to arm and take off. It's a one key to take off. All right, so we got some action going on. <laughs> yeah, right off the bat. And there is a slight bit of interference, guys. It is doing something that is not my input. Yeah, or my input is becoming very delayed. So this thing has an interference uh, problem with the Wi-Fi phone app it is sharing the same 2.4 gigahertz channel here the frequency so my controls are kind of being delayed yeah there's a very strong latency and sometimes it does not even move so I'm doing the right roll and it is continuing yeah see that 
Okay, now it's doing okay. So there's some video for you. And I'm gonna increase in altitude and the altitude also, and my yaw is not responding right now. And now it is responding and it's just yawing by itself. So I'm gonna bring it back here. And going backwards will probably take a horizon view video as well. Let me go forward just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi phone app, guys. So let me press that one key to land. And it lands by itself. And you still got control of its direction, of its path of landing. Okay, it has landed. Now I'm going to do is turn off the video. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to kill the app. And as well as turn off my Wi-Fi in my settings. So now I do not have any Wi-Fi connection at all. My phone does not even have Wi-Fi. So now let's go ahead and fly this baby without the phone app turned on. Okay, so let's go ahead and arm the motors now and one more time. Okay, armed it. See, now I have perfect control. Yeah, now I have exact control. So the phone app interferes with the quadcopters remote control as well, guys. So take a note of that. A lot, a lot of these uh, Wi-Fi units do that sometimes. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a flip there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All directional flips. Nice, that is speed number one. Very nice, actually. It hovers really nice too. Let me bring it up closer. Yeah, very nice, very nice. It's got a slight left drift. So I'm gonna hit the right trim button for five times. And it looks like it's staying very still now. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Let me go to speed number two. So, ah, oh, it's a great little flyer. Yeah, it is unfortunate uh, the Wi-Fi app uses the same frequency as the remote control and it bothers it. Some of them have no effect at all and flies very well with the Wi-Fi phone app, but some of them do interfere. So when you guys are confronted with one of those quadcopters that just doesn't want to listen, just turn off the phone and it does fine. Another flip. I am in speed number three now. Whoa. Wow, look at that pitch. It's a pretty nice flyer. Yep, excellent controllability here. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let me check out the one key to return. There you go. It's going that way though. Okay, maybe uh, I bounded it with its heading towards this way. So let me hit that one key to return. It should come back towards my way here. So that is working fine. And the headless mode now. All right, going forward. And the quadcopter is in a spin. And it is working fine. Coming backwards, going to the left, going to the right, while the quadcopter is in a full left yaw spin. So the headless mode works fantastic. Let me get out of the headless mode. So that is awesome. Everything is working on this quadcopter here. Yeah, without the phone app on that is. Nice, and we do have some flight time left. So that is fantastic. So I'm gonna drain out the battery to see what kind of flight time it has. And what I'm gonna do is also I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna turn off the remote control to see what happens. I see that the light is blinking as well. So we are in LVC guys. So let me go ahead and turn off the remote. It's still hovering and slowly it lands. Nice. All right, we got the quadcopter charged back up. And this time what I'm gonna do is try and fly this baby with just the Wi-Fi phone app. So let's go ahead and turn this baby on. Hopefully it is nicely charged up. Turning it on. Yep, we got LED lights. And let me go ahead and get into my settings in the Wi-Fi 
section of the settings and we are connected nice very fast connection here and we are in the app itself in the first interface and let's hit that play and we got yes we do have connection oh uh, there's a slew of buttons to be had here let's see gotta hit that settings button it brings up the virtual reality headless mode there's actually a flight planner as well and you can calibrate the gyro so i just calibrated the gyros and hopefully i just did that and i'm going to turn on the sticks and turn this baby on now you see that the lights are solid we are connected but there's no visible virtual sticks well this app wherever you place your fingers is where the control is check it out hopefully you can see that see that yeah so that is fantastic you could kind of miss where you are pointing concentrating on the quadcopter and not looking down at your phone to see whether your placement of the fingers are correct so that is just fantastic nice little feature there is the gyro mode there is a speed control it is at 30 60 and now it is at 100 you got the photo video you got the photo album and you got the altitude hold and that brings up the emergency stop one kilo takeoff and one kilo land that is all i need and we got the virtual sticks so let's go ahead and start the video so we can record the flight and let's go ahead and take off with the one kilo takeoff and land see if it works check it out hey, hey, hey. Automatic takeoff with a press of the button and the virtual sticks are wherever you place your finger. So Fantastic. You don't have to look down going up and down on the throttle. I'm just playing around with the throttle here Nice. I got control But it is a little bit docile. I'm at 100% and that is the full pitch forward and full pitch backwards, okay? So very easy to control it's not going to go haywire and you are able to yaw as well so nice little control so you can fly this thing with the virtual sticks yep good controls all right we are talking so you can leave your transmitter at home <laughs> and just take the quadcopter such a small form factor that folds out is just fantastic. Put it in your shirt pocket, bust out your phone, and emergency photo and video from the air. <laughs> Not the highest quality photo and video, guys, but nevertheless, it is photo and video from the sky, from the tiniest of quadcopters. Not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the gyro. And check this baby out the G mode yep and the G mode works fantastic it is already functioning very well check it out coming back going forward and feels like the uh, the pitch is a little bit more pronounced in the G mode so we got some more fast response here nice and check that out nice very nice pretty cool going forward a yard and it's facing the opposite way coming back and going forward again and yawing to that side going forward coming back towards me going forward again going to the left and doing a roundabout kind of all right very easy to control with the G mode. Let's turn that G mode off. And I did see that we do have a flight planner. So hit, hit that flight planner. And let's see. Drawing a line that way. Yep. <laughs> nice. Drawing a line this way. And it doesn't travel too far. So that's good. Forward. And that is the distance that it travels with a single line drawing. So backwards, backwards, and backwards okay it just activates the latest one i'm there it's not uh, continuing is what i'm trying to say here to the right to the right so you're gonna have to 
travel that path of the drawing line and then go ahead and hit it again in order to continue your path. Don't consecutively hit the line like right now what I'm doing. If you continuously hit it, yeah, it'll respond to the new line. There you go. So draw a line, let it go, and then draw a line again, let it go if you want to travel a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and draw a figure eight. There we go. I drew a figure eight like three times. There we go. It is doing some kind of a figure eight sequence. It's traveling to the right for some reason. <laughs> we don't want to go too far away. And I think it just got done. Now let's draw a big circle. Yeah, now we can see that it is a nice circle. And it traveled a little bit further away from me. So I'm going to bring it back. Bring it back. And come back to me. Draw a line backwards. Yep, the flight planner works. All right. Okay, let me get out of that flight planner. And I'm going to go ahead and use the gyro mode to bring it back. There we go. Nice, huh? And I see that the light is flashing in the back. The red light, LED light, is flashing in the back. So we have come to the end of its battery life here. So let me hit the gyro and take back controls with the virtual stick. And let me go ahead and land this baby right. Uh oh. Land this baby right here by hitting the one key to land. And it is landing itself. Nice, and the motors turn off. I'm gonna hit the video button, save that video. Nice. All right, just got done flying the Broad Reams S9W, the mini foldable RC quadcopter uh, that takes photos and videos via a Wi-Fi phone app. And uh, fantastic of a little flyer, guys. Indoor flyer as well as outdoor flyer. I've flown outside here in the open field and it did fantastic. It didn't give me any issues at all, except the fact that when you are flying it with the remote control and you have the phone connected via the Wi-Fi connection uh, and are looking at the FPV, well, it kind of interferes with the transmitter's uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, channel as well. The frequency that is so that is an issue an ongoing issue as we have seen with a lot of these Wi-Fi FPV units that utilizes the 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency for the Wi-Fi transmission as well so there you have it guys but the uh, phone app worked fantastic the virtual sticks awesome the gyro awesome and the flight planner worked flawlessly as well so very fantastic little flyer with the wi-fi phone app so that was fantastic and hopefully the video and the photos came out okay as well we'll check that out so there you have it guys the broad reams s9w the micro quadcopter the foldable micro quadcopter with the wi-fi phone app thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time